I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss how to maximize area of a rectangle. We will take uh, different conditions to see how to maximize uh, area of rectangle when we are given different kinds of situations. So I will take uh, area of rectangle inside a curve. Uh, that will be very interesting. So let us say that uh, we have different kinds of curves. So we could have a straight line that, that is also a curve, right? So let's say we have a straight line like this, one type of curve. We could have a semicircle. We could have a semicircle kind of like this. Or we could have some other curve, let's say a parabola, right? So let's say a parabola kind of like this. Now, the question here is, find the area of a rectangle whose sides match with the x-axis and they are inside the given shape. So how will you maximize that area? For example, in this particular case, we could make a rectangle kind of like this, where this point could be anywhere in between x and y intercepts. And we need to maximize the area of this rectangle. Here we could have a rectangle kind of like this, right? And we need to maximize the area of this rectangle. In any other curve, we could also make similar kind of a rectangle. And now the question is, how to maximize area of these rectangles, right? So we have uh, many videos related to this. In this video, however, we'll only try to understand the strategy. Okay. So let me take actually in this video uh, the case with straight line and uh, discuss that at length. And then we can take the next video on uh, how to do when we have different types of curves as... Uh, we've drawn here a circle and a parabola right so let's begin with this one which is a straight line so let me take general straight line which has y intercept at b and x intercept at a in that case how to find maximum area of rectangle so in general we can say let this point which vertex lies on the line be x y in that case what is x and what is y? Well, x is this distance, correct? And y is that distance. That is x and y. So the area of rectangle is equals to x times y. Correct. Now, whenever you have two different variables and we need to optimize, we have to write one variable in terms of the other. In this particular situation, we can consider similar triangles. So let me consider this big triangle as one and uh, a smaller triangle uh, which is, let us say, this one, right? So this one, this one, smaller triangle. These two triangles are similar, right? Since, you know, both are right triangles and that is a common angle. That is same angle, right? Okay, since we have these two similar triangles, ratio of the sides are constant. So in the big triangle, the ratio B over A, that height over the base is same as this height and this height is Y for us, right? So Y over and how much is this base? That is uh, A, the X intercept minus the X value. So that is A minus X. So that is how we can relate X and Y. Now we can cross multiply. So if I cross multiply, in fact, we want what y is equal to. So we have b times a minus x divided by a is equals to y. So in this fashion, using similar triangle strategy, we have related y with x. Correct? Now we can write area in terms of y. So we get area as a function of y as equal to We'll replace y with this term. So x times b over a times a minus x. So that becomes your equation in terms of area as a function of, uh, I should say x, I'm sorry, as a function of x since we have substituted y with x. Correct? You could actually expand this and write it as... So when, when I multiply with the first term a, I get uh, b x and the second term will be uh, b over a x square. 
with a minus sign. Do you see? So what we get here is one particular equation and that is area in terms of x. So let's write it down again. So we have area in terms of x as bx minus b over a x square. So we have taken a very general line. It could have any x intercept and y intercept. So those are your x and y intercepts. Okay. To maximize or to optimize, what we need to do is find the critical point and also find the value of the function at the end points. Now in this particular case, what are the end points? You can see that the variable x could be 0 or could be a. So that means the limit for x for us is it is greater than or equal to 0 and is less than or equals to a. So these are the two limits. Now if I write 0 in this equation that means a of 0 is how much? It will give me 0 and if I write a as equals to a for x right if I substitute and find x here in that case what do I get? x as a I again get this as equals to 0. So both these areas on the boundary conditions are zeros. That means the critical number is going to give me the maximum, right? It is a parabola you can see which is downwards opening, so it's a maximum. So let's find that critical number. So a dash, the derivative of area, will be b minus, and you do this, b over a times 2x. Now when is this zero? So let's solve. So we have b over a times 2x equals to b, right? That is when a of x will be equal to 0. So we are equating this to 0, solving for x. So x is equals to b times a over 2b, right? And that gives us a over 2. That means half of the x-intercept. You get the idea. So whenever there is a line and you are looking at quadrant 1 and you need to find maximum area of a rectangle, in general, you will get x equals to a over 2, half, midway, right? So what is y equals to? Value of y will be equals to b over a times a minus x. So that is the value of y. So b over a, let me write down, b over a times a minus a over 2. So half of right? So that is b over a times half of 2, a cancel, that means half of b, right? So, so that is what you get as a value of b in this particular case, correct? So these, these are the values which, which you get for a and b. So area will be maximum where uh, the coordinate points or this or you can say the dimensions will be half A by half B, right? So that gives you the size of the rectangle for maximum area. You get the point. So when you solve such a questions, that is what is your end result. Now what we can do is we can take up an example where we have some values for A and B. And then you can try it out on your own whether it really works or not, right? So what you can take is, uh, let's take, let us say, take B as equals to, let us say, 12, and A as equals to, let us say, 4, right? So we are just taking two values. Now if you do the whole exercise again using 12 and 4, then you check, do you get this answer? Right. So let us redo once again the same exercise. So if B is 12 and A is 4, in that case, using the similar triangle, what do I get? I get 12 over 4 minus x. This is x, right? So 4 minus x will be equals to, this is 12 and, I mean, sorry, 12 over 4, sorry, 12 over 4 big triangle over y over 4 minus x. So that is the relation. So from here y will be equals to 12 over 4 is 3. So 3 times 4 minus x that is value of y. Area in terms of x is going to be x times y. So I'll just write 
x times 3 times 4 minus x and you can expand this so you get 12x minus 3x square as the area derivative of this will be 12 minus 6x right and if you want to find equator to 0 you'll get 6x equals to 12 or x is equals to 2 so you get which is half of 4 do you see that which is half of 4 if x is 2 you can substitute the value of x here and find y so y will be 3 times 4 minus 2 4 minus 2 is 2 you get 6 6 is half of 12 so midway between you get the area right and of course if you need to find what the area is you can now multiply these two values so so the area maximum let me write maximum area is equals to 2 times 6 right 2 times 6 which is 12 unit square so that becomes the maximum area for a specific case when you know x and y intercepts right so that's the whole idea at times you may be given equation of a line right so let me consider equation line you may write any equation is equals to let's say y equals to since I have shown a line which is going down I can say minus 3 over 2x plus let us say 7 now if that is the equation of some line you need to find area of maximum triangle so that is now the question for you so this is the question for you to practice so when you have an equation of line like this then you need to find what triangle or I mean what rectangle will have maximum area which is inscribed within that line and x and y coordinates of your plane right so that is the question for you to practice I hope you have understood the strategy here very clear use similar triangles to relate x and y once you find the relation write area in one variable find derivative equated to zero correct now since the derivative at the boundary condition is zero at the critical number whatever area you get is the maximum correct in this case most of the cases where line is involved and rectangle is involved the area which you are going to get is what dimensions which are half of x intercept and half of y intercept so that is how you are going to actually uh, solve most of these questions i hope it really helps thank you and all the best